This is example 6.3. It reads, an external force of 213 newtons is applied to the forearm at a point that is 25 centimeters from the axis of rotation at the elbow. What is the magnitude of the moment of this force about this elbow? So we're going to write down what we know. We know that force is 213 newtons. We know that the distance is 25 centimeters away. We're going to convert centimeters to meters and we know that it's 0.25 meters. What we're looking for is the moment. We know the equation moment equals force times distance and we're going to try and draw a full body diagram. This right here is our angle of rotation. This distance we have is 0.25 meters and we have a force of 213 newtons. So we're multiplying this force by a given distance. Moment is defined by a force acting at a distance from an angle of rotation. So a 213 newton force acting 0.25 meters away from an angle of rotation causes a moment by this equation. We're going to plug in the information that we have. So moment is equal to 213 newtons times the distance of 0.25 meters. When we multiply this out, we come up with 53.25 newton meters. This is the moment of the force acting on an angle of rotation from this far away. Pay attention to the distance needed for the specific equation. In the same situation, the moment would be different if the fulcrum or angle of rotation was changed. So if the distance is changed and you're given two distances in the sample, make sure you pay attention to which distance you need to multiply the force by. It's always the distance in relation to the angle of rotation.